Hi everyone, I really hope this message finds you well. This video is for Year 11s and it sets out our approach as a school to the teacher assess grades. But obviously parents will want to know the process too and this is the reason that we've done this video. We've been so looking forward to welcoming you back and for you all to have time in school before you leave us, having achieved the grade you deserve and move on to the next stage of your education with confidence. We are really hopeful that uh, with the restrictions set to be eased in the, um, in the near future, that we can celebrate your time at Studley High School with all the things that I know you will enjoy. We're still hopeful that we can do a prom and have a leavers assembly as well as other things. So there's, lot to, there's lots to look forward to in the upcoming months. Having spoken to many of you during the lateral flow test in the last week or so, I am aware that although you've been looking forward to coming back to school, you're also a bit worried about the GCSE process. So I thought I'd take this opportunity to share a recording with you about how the GCSEs are going to be decided this year. And I promise you there is nothing for you to worry about. I am sure you're aware the system this year only applies to you, your year 11 cohort. And it will be different again for next year's year 11. Teachers have been asked to assess you. They're going to assess the standard at which you are performing and have been performing over the time that you've been doing their course. I know that some of you are a little bit worried about it, so I'll be explaining more through this recording. Now, let me talk you through the timeline of how we're going to structure the next eight to nine weeks to support all year 11 pupils achieving the best grades possible. So you came back to school on the 8th of March, as you know, and you are back in lessons with your teachers, back to normal routines. We will have four weeks, which takes us up to the Easter holidays. When you come back on the 19th of April, we're going to have another two weeks that you're going to be in normal lessons with your teachers. After the bank holiday, we're going to have two weeks when we are going to run some internal assessments. And again, I promise you, this is nothing for you to worry about. You may have heard that the exam boards are going to offer some mini assessments and your various teachers may decide that they want to use those or devise their own assessments. But again, this is nothing for you to worry about. And I'm going to outline why it's nothing for you to worry about. Firstly, we are going to publish the, the, to the topics for all of the subjects that the assessments are going to be on. And we're going to do this by the, the, this Friday coming. All teaching and learning will be focused on the assessments up until the 4th of May, covering the topics that are going to be on uh, in the assessments. From the 22nd of March, we will also be offering after school revision cl classes that students can use to support their revision. Assessments will be done based in, uh, based in classrooms and run where possible by your subject teachers. All internal assessments will be marked by your teachers and then we'll go through an internal moderation process procedure involving all members of the department and line managers. There will be, of course, time for personal revision, including over the Easter break, but we need to find a balance with this. We really want you to take time with your families and enjoy actually having a bit of an opportunity to go out and about because locked down should be eased just that little bit more. So we want to support you in finding that balance. I can again promise you we are not going to use topics that have not been covered in this teaching time up until Easter and the two weeks um, after. You will only be tested on what you've learned during that period. To reiterate, this is to give you an opportunity to demonstrate what you have learned. It is not to catch you out. This is to support you and, and support support you um, building a um, portfolio of evidence and this is part of and only part of what we will use in order to get to those teacher assessed grades. From the 17th of May up until half term we're going to run some catch-up opportunities and lessons covering topics that students have covered in less detail over the course of the of their GCSEs. To be, re to be really clear the internal assessments, I know I keep saying it, will only be part of the evidence used to support the process of reaching teacher assessed grades. And in the next, on the next slide, I'm going to talk you through exactly how each grade will be generated. 
So how will we arrive at each grade? Well, that will depend very much on the qualification you're sitting. You might be doing a GCSE where you will be awarded a nine to one grade. Subjects like English, math, science, history, geography, French, Spanish and so on. The evidence will be that will be used to get to this teacher assessed grades will be a combination of the following mock exams, internal assessments that you're going to be doing on May the 4th, class based activities, which means evidence from lessons, quality of work um, over the course of the, the two years, exam questions that you might have done in class or will do in class. Maybe they're multiple choice or four mark questions and any previous data that we have collected over your time studying that course. For art and photography, the grade will be awarded based on portfolio. There's not going to be any exam at all. Some of you will be very happy about this. You'll be delighted because your portfolio has got a massive range of evidence in it. Some of you might be a little bit worried and nervous because you're feeling that your portfolio doesn't truly reflect everything you can do. Well, you can use your lesson times over the coming weeks to make sure that your portfolio has as much evidence in it and it's at the quality that you would want. Of course, there are other types of qualifications you might be doing, for example, BTEX or Cambridge National. There will be some courses within those um, two qualifications that will want to do internal assessments, but not all of them. And I will highlight which ones later. It might be for these courses that you've already done in external examinations and those marks will be used to give overall grades. But it's not just that. It will also be um, based on class based activities that we've already talked about in the nine to one um, GCSE subjects. So portfolio of evidence, topics, coursework that might have been done and any other previous data that we've collated over the course of the last two years. So starting on the 4th of May, th there will be a two week period where we are going to be running these internal assessments. These are the subjects which are going to um, going to use those internal assessments. So there will be one English literature and one English language uh, assessment. There will be two maths assessments, one for French, Spanish, German, geography, history, RE, biology, chemistry, physics, PE, food tech, design tech drama and then the Cambridge National. So there's one of the uh, BTEC Cambridge National qualifications that will be doing the internal assessment, computer science and GCSE music. They are the only subjects which will be doing these internal assessments. Again, I know I've already said it, but I'm going to reiterate what will be in these assessments. Well, we're going to give you issue a booklet that will um, detail the topics that are going to be covered in that assessment. And that's going to be with you by the end of this week. Students will only be tested on taught content, what they've learned over the course of the four weeks up until Easter and the two weeks after uh, Easter. Teaching and learning will focus on these topics in the run up to the assessments. The details of these assessments will be released after Easter. What I mean by that is the days of which the assessments are going to be on and the length of the assessment. All other information will be with you uh, by Friday. The classrooms, uh, sorry, the assessments will be done in classrooms and predominantly in lesson time. And the, and the school will offer revision sessions to support um, in the build up to those assessments. Now, I'd like to take this opportunity to address a couple of key questions. I'm sure that you've heard lots in the press and I just want to uh, want you to remember that journalists want to produce sto stories that sell. Sorry, they want to produce stories that sell stories and generate clicks. You might have heard um, headlines such as unfair exam process. I am very happy with the system. Um, that has been devised and I'm very confident that you year 11 stand to do extremely well in the summer. But I want to address in a bit more detail some of the concerns that you may have. So one of the questions that you might be thinking about, will Steadley High School be more generous or harsh than other schools? How will we um, how are we going to ensure that the grades are fair? Well, I want to reassure you that uh, all schools have to follow the same guidance. Difference, differences between schools will be marginal. We are all expected to moderate and standardise alongside other schools. And we are 
subject to the same quality assurance both internally and externally. Mrs. Page and myself, as well as the other teachers, sorry, as well as all teachers will need to sign to say that we have followed this, the quality assurance and that's the same for every school uh, nationally. I have to make the point really clearly. Teachers make these predictions every single year. We mark coursework. Many of your teachers are examiners and we are really well placed to make these judgments. Now, judgments have to be evidence but evidence based. And that's the only thing that counts. You know that we're passionate about, for example, good behaviour in lessons, but behaviour, attitude and relationships with teachers will bear no significance at all. And all that counts is the quality of the work that's produced. So I'm going to talk to you now a little bit about what protections do you have in this process. So once you've received your results, you can appeal. Now, you can't appeal if you're unhappy with yourself and you uh, know that you didn't put enough effort and you didn't revise uh, properly. I'm afraid that doesn't count. But if you feel that on reflection, the grade or grades aren't a reflection of what you should achieve, then you can appeal to us as a school. You can ask us to check that we didn't make an error. There hasn't been an admin error when we enter your grades. If you still feel that actually we haven't given you the grades that you deserve, then you can go to the exam board and ask them to review our evidence base. Now, I want to make it very clear with you. We, we do this every single year in terms of appeal to exam boards. And, you know, this is a, this is a kind of common thing that um, all schools do. Um, but grades can go up and can go down as well. So. Once, the, um, once if you did make an appeal to an exam board, they would call on the evidence base and that will be um, scrutinised carefully. So to be clear, the grades can go up and can go down. I really hope this has given you some reassurance. Studley High School and the Year 11 are in an excellent position. And I really hope that um, you know that we will do absolutely the right thing for all of our pupils in the time that they have left with us. So year 11, what can you do over the coming weeks? Well, it's really important that you keep working hard. We've been so proud of the way that year 11s have conducted themselves throughout the last year and their time at Studley High School, and in particular, the work that they've produced over lockdown. You will need to be patient we will publish the topics, but the detail of the internal assessments, timings and the days will come out um, after Easter. Once the exam board have released more information on the 29th of March. Work hard, follow your teacher's uh, instructions. And of course, we are here to help. Make sure you take up those opportunities to um, go to those extra revision classes. We are absolutely confident that if you do all of those things with our support, that you will um, get the grades that you richly deserve. That will mean that you can go on um, to study post-16 education and have the best opportunities in terms of your future. Now, for parents, myself and Mrs. Page are going to make ourselves available on Monday, this Monday coming. And we'll send out more detail via a letter where you will be able to make appointments with us via the um, via the Parents' Evening app that seems to have worked so well over the course of the um, Parents' Evening. We will get that information out to you in the letter. So if you did have questions that you wanted to raise or queries that's not clear through the presentation, and again, I hope the presentation has been clear, you will be able to book um, appointment slots throughout Monday uh, of next week. I hope this um, video has been informative. I hope it's reassured you. Um, I know that Year 11 are going to do extremely well um, over the course of the time they've got left with, left with us, which will lead to excellent grades. And I can't wait to hear in September and through the course of the next two years what they've gone on to study. And I know that they're going to be successful.